let's get it that's right you see the right what's happening people and welcome to the first episode of cj writes i am cj lloyd webley writer producer theater maker and i am here to share all things about my journey and all things about what i've learned along the way within this this very very crazy art industry if you like the content please do hit that subscribe button so as i've just mentioned i am a writer a theater maker social entrepreneur as of 2020 i wear many different hats but for the purpose of this channel I'm going to be focusing primarily on my journey as a writer, whether it be within screen or whether it be within stage format or anything else I do that pertains to writing. That's what this channel is going to, going to be about. So I got into writing essentially from an early age. It was kind of something that came naturally to me. In school, I didn't have to probably try as hard with, with English and the more creative subjects like art and drama. So. It was, it was a natural progression route for me really, but it wasn't something that I saw as a viable career option. It wasn't something that I was necessarily pushed into. Coming from a Caribbean background, we kind of like those more stable, solid job roles that are not elusive and you know that you're gonna kind of get paid at the end of the week. So that's the sort of thing that I felt like I may have been being pushed into, but I think the kind of personality I have, I'm always one to really go against the grain. So if people tell me I can't do something, I'm always gonna try and find a way to make it happen. And I think that's pretty much how I ended up being a writer. It was something that I started off within the kind of acting side. And then I started realizing that as a writer, as a producer and director, you can start to create opportunities for other actors and other performers. That was something that really inspired me because I am the type of person who likes to create opportunities for others and, and I will talk throughout the channel about some of the other work I do that pertains to that side of things. So my first play was actually when I was studying at university and throughout the course of this channel I am going to be breaking it down so you can really get a sense of my journey but the first play was actually, so the way my mind works is let's say for example I've got a task to do so I think this particular time I was actually in the library and I was I think I was working on a assignment at uni for African theatre or something like that so that was the that was the degree I did I did a degree in theatre and performance studies and I did a lot of modules in English and English literature so this particular assignment was about African theatre and the way my mind works is if something else is more pressing on my mind, I find it very difficult not to switch to that task. So I was in the library and I remember a cleaner walks past me and they had a bottle of white spirit on the trolley. And I just thought to myself, hmm, white spirit, that's interesting for a cleaner to be walking around in a library with, with a bottle of white spirit. I don't know why it intrigued me, but I just thought, okay, I've got that thought in my head. So I'm just gonna open up a document, uh, a blank document on Word, and I'm just gonna put white spirit. And then I don't know what it was, but I just decided I'm just gonna write a play about white spirit. The story and narrative that came to my head at that particular time was, and, and bearing in mind this was the first play that I had written, so I hadn't written any plays before. I'd probably done a couple of short sketches with the local church or local community, but nothing in terms of professional actors or, or university students to come and perform in it. I hadn't done anything like that. So this was very much the first kind of stab at writing something um, for the stage format. So I decided, yes, I'm going to write this play about white spirit and it essentially ended up being about uh, a child that grew up in foster care and had been neglected by the foster parents and that had been left for the weekend and the boy was actually blind so the other children in the in the uh, vicinity were supposed to look after him but they had their own things going on their own personal stories going on and therefore the child um, ended up accidentally drinking a bottle of white spirit and I started thinking about themes of of neglect and how as a society we can we can tackle some of these issues so i now know 
moving forward in as I've moved forward into the industry that it's very important to have a a passion for the subject you're writing about. I always really love to to think about the idea of why me? Why am I telling this story? Why now? And why this story? Why do I want to write this story in this current climate and in this particular day and age? So clearly at that particular time I was I was passionate about that narrative and that was what I decided to write and I realised at that point that the reason I did start to write was because the plays that were going on at that particular time I didn't feel like I wanted to perform in them, I just didn't feel like they were the stories for me and so that was probably why I had the inclination at that moment to start writing my own plays and it was really interesting because it ended up, so the play White Spirit ended up winning the Fresh Blood Award and it was it was a play that was chosen to be performed in the, in the Warwick studio. I auditioned for the roles and there were lots of different people that were very interested in, in performing in the play. So at that point I started to realise, okay, this writing thing, this can actually provide opportunities, as I mentioned earlier. And you can start to see how people respond to the characters that you've written and respond to the story and the narrative and have conversations about what it's what the deeper meaning and themes are and that was something that really interested me because up until that point I hadn't really experienced that where you write something and and he try to internalize that character and 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 understand why you wrote it and want to get into to your mind as a writer and that was something that that I found really inspiring and I knew that from that moment there were so many more stories that I think I had that I really wanted to bring out. So that was really my first glimpse at at writing and, and actually having something performed on stage. Even though I've had plays produced and most of my experience is in that playwriting area, that stage play format, I consider myself a writer, broadly speaking, because in all other aspects of the work I do, I do very much rely on that writing ability so whether it's writing proposals whether it's writing blog posts or social media posts it's it's all writing and I think in the future I may want to write a novel and, and I, I don't feel like I want to pigeonhole myself into just saying that I am a playwright like I I think that seeing your play on stage and seeing everything live in the audience responses and everything like that that is something I'm really drawn to but I don't believe I am just one thing. I think writing is so broad and it's so useful in, in all aspects and all careers that I, I just consider myself a writer. There's various things that I will go through on this channel that I think will be very helpful even to people that may not necessarily be wanting to write fiction. So the purpose of this channel is to tell you all about my journey, to tell you how I got to this point of having plays produced in Birmingham and in London. And I am very much still on a journey and I'm enjoying this journey. I'm enjoying the process of writing. I enjoy taking time out to write. It's, it's very much my passion. And for this channel, I really wanna help others to understand that they may have a story inside of them and give them tools and techniques to help them bring that story out of them. Also, I want this channel to be very informative, very relaxed. I want us to have a good time and, and I'm gonna, I've got so many funny stories about my experience or the, the, the kind of setbacks that I've had to go through. And if my story can help others who may be going on a similar journey, that's what this channel's all about. So thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. And if you did enjoy this video, please do hit the like, subscribe button and comment in the section below because I'm sure you have a lot of questions and I'd love to answer them. So peace and love. I'll see you next time.